going on guys modern mods and uh let's get right into it today i'm going to be doing a review on my roar pedal youtube said about four months ago i installed this so a lot of people have checked out that video i've got a lot of questions and a lot of content you know from people showing me what it's like how much they love it and everything in between but i've also had a lot of questions on what it's like to own it what has it done to the car and have I found any tricks or ways of driving to make it a little bit easier to use? So today I'm gonna try and explain everything I've went through with this thing, as well as what I've done to make using this thing a little bit easier and um, just a little bit more funner. So again, thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for checking out all my other videos and let's dive right in. Okay, okay, so first things first is coming in here is my dash four months later of owning this thing uh obviously i replaced it you know in the time of owning this the uh dash that is if you guys have been keeping up with the videos but no check engines no nothing just a little seat belt because i'm not buckled in right now it has been great guys my throttle response is it's good it's quick uh that was a slight touch um it does everything it needs to do and Here's my setup with it. I've been having it this way for a while. Uh, just dropped it in there. You know, you can pop it in, but the wire's so thick and the 3M that comes with this thing is, I don't know if it's just terrible or if it's just not sticking to our car. So I actually use Velcro to stick mine down. FU3 is Sport Plus 3. So again, if you guys are checking this out, maybe to see if you want to buy one, the Roar Pedal, let me zoom in a little bit to get you a little better look. Let me see if I can show you guys just some of the modes that this roar pedal has. So obviously it says five here. So let's start down at no. So no is gonna be your stock, nothing. The roar pedal is doing nothing at that point. It's not, you know, giving you anything. It's just kind of off in a sense. Coming into SA, that's gonna be eco. And as I switch, I sometimes can feel my RPMs move, but the cool thing about the roar pedal is you can, you know, do this while you're driving if you want to switch it down or switch it up. Coming in here, uh, that is race mode. So SU is race mode, and you have all these other numbers. You can go one through nine, which is all sensitivity levels. And I mean, man, they make a major difference. Race mode is something that it is almost impossible to drive in um, on a daily setting unless you just love crunching and burning gas and flying off every light. But, you know, it is super fun, no doubt. Next is Sport Plus 3. This is my daily here. I daily on FU3 um, because it gives me a nice push. I'm a very light peddler. Um, I drive trucks all day at work, so when I come, you know, to my car, I, I don't have the urge to push the gas pedal very hard. And um, this gives me the boost I need to kind of, with my light pedaling, you know. It's just all around, it's a good mode. This is my mode. I used to do FU7. Um, just those four digits really changed the feel. And I when I dropped it down to three, I really like what I have right now. And I mean, as you guys can see, if we can zoom out, we got snow, not much right now, but you know, even winter driving, I can handle on this. So coming in to the next one, HA5 is gonna be sport mode five. So sport mode is the stock setting that really gives you a good amount of power. Uh, it doesn't really push like race mode or anything, but it, it really does. That I always recommend the first time you try your roar pedal out, please try it on HA5. So you can just see the major difference. This is only the first setting that really gives you the, you know, it's the lowest setting in a sense on the roar pedal. And it already makes your car feel insanely different. And just real quick guys, this sport mode combined with that sport, sport plus or race mode is intense, intense. So, I mean, more or less guys with the whole aspect of um, durability, these things come with two year warranties. Um, I've had mine for four months or so now, five months probably coming up, and I've had no problems. I've not, no issues, nothing happened to my car, nothing's happened to the roar. 
Um, it's been awesome. And Roar Pedal has been a fun experience. And honestly, I think they're a great company. If you were to have an issue, they would probably get back to you very quickly. I feel like they would. So um, all around, I give Roar Pedal five stars. I really, really enjoy it. Um, Pedal Commander is a good thing as well. They're a little bit more, you know, in the price range or higher price range, but you know, they've got good ratings and reviews as well. And they do their thing. I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. And you already know, until the next one, guys, peace.